What's going on guys? What the flux here? Gonna be playing some StarCraft 2 today. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a PvP matchup here on Scrap Station. I'm going to be spawning as the blue Protoss in the top spawn. My opponent is going to be a Protoss player by the name of Surav. He's going to be the red Protoss in the bottom spawn. Today I'm bringing you this guys for one main reason and one main reason only. I want to show you guys how to execute a void rush, a void rush, a void ray rush. Um, I won't sit here and tell you that this is the most perfect and you know to the T way to do it, but uh, I kind of did this freehand and this worked out really perfectly for me. So uh, maybe this is correct, and hopefully it can help you guys out. But uh, pretty much we're going to be going through some standard stuff here in the beginning, and I will point out where the variations begin, and uh, hopefully it'll help you guys out. Maybe you can try it, practice it a few times on the computer, see how you execute it see what kind of time frame you get but I will say this I ended this game in just under nine minutes so practice against the computer maybe like on medium hell maybe even hard and uh, see where you get and if you keep it under that time frame I think that's a perfect way to do it uh, so let's see uh, pylon at nine obviously you're gonna be getting your gateway here at 12 I have no idea why I waited this long to get it um, oh yeah now I remember uh, kind of stumbled with key bindings way to go me and uh, yeah, so while we got this little fodder going on here and this uh, standard stuff, I just want to ask you guys, would you be interested in maybe seeing a Let's Play of the campaign series? I've been thinking about doing it and doing it with my brother or something, and uh, I think it might be kind of enjoyable. So um, let me know what you guys think, give me, give me some feedback, and uh, we'll see where that goes, because that'll be more content for you guys. But um, getting back into the game. Uh, gas at 14. Uh, you'll notice I placed it down when I had 13, but I had my 14 queued up, so it was essentially 14. Uh, we're at 17 right now. I have my 18 queued up, so I went ahead and dropped my assimilator. You need to get both of these gases up very, 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 very quickly, and make sure you are chrono boosting probes out ASAP. This is a very, very gas intensive build, and it definitely requires you to have the perfect amount of probes uh, going on your minerals as well. Uh, gas is just not coming up, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer three workers in there, and that'll be getting good. Uh, you already noticed I have my gateway up. Um, anytime I do play a Protoss player, I like to get at least one Zealot, just in case they do try to do like a Zealot rush. And uh, usually with that Zealot and then uh, just a worker surround, I can usually hold it off, but uh, that's just per personal preference. Mm, excuse me there. Uh, you'll notice I placed my first pylon back here, and that's just uh, that was probably kind of dumb. Um, but he didn't scout me anyway, so it didn't really matter. But uh, I should have just put it up here where I put this one, but that's not really a big deal. Uh, I'm putting down a second pylon, and the stargate is going down in between both of them. In the event that I do get rushed, uh, one is at least it's still being powered. So we got stargate coming out here at about eh, probably what 24, 25 maybe. Um, the first zealot's out, so I feel pretty confident with that. I'm gonna go ahead and get warp, get warp gate research, just so I can put uh, put the void ray pressure on and then uh, transfer into a four gate. Uh, come you know after these two die, I will only produce two out of here, and if two doesn't work, then it's probably not in your best interest to keep pumping them out because they more than likely have the units to counter it. So. Uh, Stargate's up. I'm just a little bit behind on my minerals, but uh, I only had to wait maybe a couple seconds, so that was pretty good. So Void Ray is coming out at the 30 food mark. Uh, I went ahead and suicided a probe over here to see what was going on, but I didn't even pay attention, so I didn't even notice he was doing this cannon rush. Or, well, not really a rush, but this uh, cannon defense, which is becoming more and more uh, common, I guess, and I really don't understand why Protoss, you know, they're good on one base, but they're better once they get a second one and they just become insanely powerful once they get a second one. Uh, looks like he's canning, cannoning up and he's gonna tra he's gonna transition into a three gate with a stargate. This stargate's just way behind and uh, he's not really banking too many minerals, he's banking a lot of gas so I'm guessing he's thinking a really intensive void ray build as well. Um, first void ray is out and second one is getting chrono boosted out. It is about 30 percent done so second one should be coming out at about the 34 mark. Um, Throwing down a couple more gateways just to get ready for my transition, and thinking back on this, I probably should have sent that probe out here and went ahead and placed a pylon eh, somewhere over here just to get ready to get the warp gate pressure on from the front door, as well as uh, get these void rays going, and uh, I probably should have even sent these two guys up to the Zelnaga just to uh, see what was going on, but second 
second uh, Void Ray's up, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and check these guys out, because they're just going to do work. Uh, they're going to come from this back door, and this back door is completely naked. Many, many probes are going to die, and uh, it's pretty much, it's going to end his game. Uh, I probably could have maybe charged up on the assimilator, but he kept, but this void ray kept a constant stream, so it definitely didn't hurt me. Um, I did like how this uh, void ray kind of auto switched to the worker once it came out, and he ran all his probes away, so I was gonna switch to the nexus. But uh, I noticed this lonely little pylon powering uh, nothing. He's, so he's starting to warp in some units, and uh, lonely. Oh, bye bye Twi Twilight Council. Um, so here comes his first order and it just gets annihilated because these guys are completely charged up and uh, that's pretty much how you guys execute it um, that's probably not to the T like I said there's probably some things you could probably do better like uh, maybe actually micro a little bit better than me instead of banking you know 1100 500 that's really stupid but whatever uh, these two voiders were sadly all at, were not sadly this is great for me this is all they needed and uh, um, I have a ton of his workers dead, so I probably, instead of, well, I mean, this worked out in this case, but uh, if I was playing against somebody who reacted just a little bit faster, maybe, uh, probably would have been better just to run around and take out all these pylons, but he calls GG, and that's pretty much game, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, practice it a little bit, take take what you can from this video, and hopefully it'll help you guys out, so I hope you enjoyed it. My name's What the Fucks. peace!